World Trade Center 7, also known as Building 7. Not the newly rebuilt Building 7, but the original Building 7, which was demolished on 9-11 and was never hit by a plane. Let's discover what U.S. government worshippers believe when it comes to the original World Trade Center 7. The U.S. government version is asinine, but for the sake of the dumbass government worshipper, we'll take a look at their so-called evidence. We can find it at NIST.gov. NIST was the U.S. government agency responsible for investigating how Building 7 came down on September 11. Now remember, this is straight from the U.S. government. If you believe the U.S. government version, then this is the crap you believe. On page 45 of their final report concerning World Trade Center Building 7, NIST came to the following conclusion. Free fall drop continued for approximately eight stories. Free fall drop of a building can be likened to a giant slab of concrete being dropped in the air, or a bowling ball being dropped in the air. So, how did the upper part of Building 7 free fall for eight stories? Were eight stories made of air? Of course not. They were made of concrete slabs, rebar, and steel columns. Even a pile of shit would prevent the building above from falling as it would in air. So how did eight stories of building material disappear instantaneously? This is not a multiple choice question. There is only one answer. It was vaporized by timed explosives. The scumbag U.S. government defenders are many, yet no amount of government bootlicking and ass-kissing can explain away this fact. Building 7 was demolished. Every new American police state measure and every U.S. war that has taken place since 9-11 has been a direct result of the 9-11 false flag. To the U.S. government worshipping pussies, you are pathetic cowards. Leave America and move to North Korea where you belong. Here is your new leader.